Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI Tester Certification. We are in chapter 9 and talking about the various methods and techniques for testing an AI based system. Today we'll be continuing ahead with our next segment of this chapter which is 9.5 Metamorphic Testing. Well, to talk about metamorphic testing, basically it is a technique aimed at generating test cases which are based on a source test case that has been passed. Now, I think that's more of like a very relative terminology or relative statement which anybody can understand by just reading it that we are talking about something relevant to reactive approach that based on something probably you may not have all the context and initial inputs what you really need in order to drive your test cases and your basis here instead of requirement design use cases etc is test case right so you probably have written few test cases and they have successfully passed and now these past test cases becomes your basis to write the future test cases or additional test cases for testing the system and that's what you call it as metamorphic testing now here this technique aimed at generating test cases which are based on a source test case that has passed. One or more follow-up test cases are generated by changing, that's what you call it as metamorphizing, the source test case based on a metamorphic relation, in simple words, MR. The MR is based on property of a required function of the test object such that it describes how a change in a test case's test input are reflected in the same test cases expected result so point being is like you have passed some of the test cases and you try deriving some additional test cases out of it and you're trying to vary the data which is input data and trying to receive the kind of like expected result relevant to that and you are free to go ahead and do this kind of approach because we have covered a lot of things in earlier chapters that what are the challenges of deriving test cases and what are the challenges of having a relevant and steady test pieces. Now for example consider a program that determines the average of a set of numbers. A source test case is generated, com generated comprising of set of numbers and an expected average as well. And the test case is run to confirm that it passes. It is now possible to generate follow-up test cases based on what is known about the program's average function. Initially the order of the number being averaged may simply be changed given the number given the average function the expected results can be predicted to stay the same so of course you know if you just pick up three random numbers and you get an average if you change over all the three numbers equivalently then you can certainly get the average back so point being is just like you know you're just trying to make sure that by changing the different inputs how well you are getting the same output for the scenario Thus, a follow-up test case with the numbers in a different order can be generated without having to calculate the expected result altogether. With a large set of numbers, this could lead to generating a large number of different set of numbers in which the same numbers are used in a different sequences and each of them could be used to create a separate follow-up test case. So in simple words, say for example, I just calculated 10 plus 10 plus 10 divided by 3 of course right so I get 30 divided by 3 which is averages 10 again now if I switch this to like 10 5 and 10 right then average remains the same oh sorry if I say 15 5 and 10 the average remains the same or if I say 5 15 and 10 and 10 5 15 if I just keep rearranging these numbers I get three different test cases but the output is exactly the same that is 10 because the sum of these three becomes 30 so I'm just swapping the numbers as their positions are, but I'm just trying to have different ways by which the AI system can be fed with information and then it can be tested. Now MT, right, which is metamorphic testing, is a relatively new test technique. First proposed in 1998, it differs from traditional test techniques in that the expected results of the follow-up test cases are not described in terms of absolute values, but are relative to the expected results in the source test case. So of course this is something very unique and here we are retaining the expected result by changing the inputs but in our traditional techniques like equivalence partition boundary value analysis the output indeed changes. 
It is based on an easily understood concept which can be applied by tester with little experience of applying the technique but who understands the application domain and has similar costs compared to traditional techniques. So few points just in one statement. Number one, that it is easily understandable, doesn't take a lot of effort and time to learn about it. Second, it really does not require a person who is highly experienced to perform this. So this is not something like an experience-based te test technique uh, related to error guessing, exploratory testing, etc. At the same time, but the person should have some domain knowledge so that they can really understand if this is a possibility or not. And second, the costs are similar to that of the formal test te techniques. It is also effective at revealing defects with research showing that only three to six diverse MRs can reveal over 90% of the defects that could be detected using techniques based on traditional test oracle. So put together, there are a lot of benefits what we have from here. And this technique is something very, very unique about AI based systems and thus works pretty well here to help you get the better outputs and yield better defects from the executions. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.